I don't know what you're doing right now and I don't want to know, but you're watching Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube. Got another vehicle spotlight for you. It's a Chevy Silverado 2007 2500 HD LBZ. This thing's on a six inch Skyjacker and some 35s. Let's go. Okay guys, like I said, we got this 2007 Silverado 2500 HD. Truck is super clean. It's got like 80,000 miles on it and you know, not a fleck of rust to be found on it, contrary to belief. And suspension wise, this is one we haven't seen either. It's got a six inch Skyjacker. So that's a different company that we've not seen a ton of. And then all the way around, he's got Fox shocks. So it's six inch and then the Fox shocks. And as far as wheels and tires, he's got 20 by 10 negative 24. XD strike. So build test is a little weird. It's a different lip, but basically it's a uh, probably about a four inch lip, which is pretty typical of a 10 wide negative 24. And you can see it's got these bump outs all the way around. So it's a really, really aggressive looking wheel and tire. I would think it would be tricky to keep clean, but it's been staying clean and that's not a brand new wheel. So maybe I'm totally wrong. And then for tires, those are 35, 12 and a half uh, Turtle Trailblade MTs. We tried to figure out how many miles he's got because these are actually worn pretty good. Um, he wasn't able to tell us. He did get these from a buddy used, so we weren't able to figure out exactly how many miles. But what, what, what I did notice is they're worn really well. So they, they've got a nice even wear to them. I don't see much or any chop. So I'm very happy to see that the Aturo trail blade is hanging in there as far as wearing to this level and still being a good usable tire. So that's awesome to see. We get a lot of questions about the Aturos and this is an, another good one to prove that, you know, they hang in there for the long run. So really happy to see that. As far as fitment goes, and then he's got the spike lug nuts. I don't know if you saw those junior, but he's got chrome spike lug nuts all the way around. So as far as trimming goes, I mean, he's up here six inches with 35s on a 2500. So there's really hardly any trimming. It looks like it may or may not rub when you're jumping ditches just a tiny bit. And then up front, again, we see where somebody kind of did their own trim job. Like I've said before, I would come in here and clean that up and just kind of take some of those edges off and try to get a more uniform. Sometimes what they're trying to do is go around the washer bottle when the truth is you'd be better off doing that cleanly and let a little washer bottle hang out the bottom versus having that jagged look. But that's just us. Um, it's Fox shocks in the front. Fox shocks back here in the rear. Which is just gonna, it's just gonna improve the overall ride because instead of using the extensions in either factory shocks or some of the lower cost shocks that come with a kit, you're adding in a Fox shock that's made for a six inch lift and made for that vehicle. So it's just gonna improve the ride. Um, as far as the rest of the truck, you can see front to back, it's got a whole bunch going on. So he did the move bumper. So this is the classic move bumper, which is a, a do it yourself kit that you then go in and you weld all the pieces that are prefab together. You can choose different options like the fog cube or the um, LED cube pockets, which this one clearly has, and then the tow hooks. And then he has the black label cubes, the four diode pods in there. And they're, they're just a nice clean fit, um, a good clean light. You can see that they're the uh, spot style cubes. So they've got the real clean glass to them and then a 40 optic. And then you can see it's an aftermarket grill, a drunken bow tie, 
bug deflector. If this was mine, I would have this painted to match white, but it's not mine. Spider, upper and lower cat eyes. And these will have the glow and then the projector style housing, which again, they're okay, but I would always, up, always upgrade that to an LED bulb. It just is better light output. I think a lot of people put these in and they're kind of bummed out about the quality of the light. But if you just do an LED bulb in there, suddenly it wakes them up. And because it's a projector, it's still safe for driving and everything. You can see he's got the wiper cowl. These were super awesome back in the 90s. I think they're going to make a comeback. If this was mine, again, I would go white with that. It just makes it pop. And then he's got the smoked cab lights up top there. And you can see he's running a brow, 5% tinted brow. And then the wiper, uh, Junior, what are those called? Uh, window visors, yeah. window visors. I got wiper cowl on the brain. I haven't seen one of those in so long. You're gonna trip, Junior. And then 5% tint, 5% tint. You can't even see inside this thing. The back is 5%. He's got bows over hose. And then he got the Big Max toolbox. So he's got some um, eBay style tail lights. It, it's a it's cool tail light because basically Junior was telling me that these light up in a C and then these are your brakes. So it's a really clean, very little amount of red and it just kind of goes really well with his black and white theme. And then you can see he added the LED reverse lamps, reverse bulbs, so those should be nice and bright. And this one does have the exhaust. So he's running a five inch exhaust, exhaust all the way back and then goes to a seven inch tip because diesel life. Chrome step ups. Looks like that's probably like a, what, three or four inch step tube. He's also got a bunch of performance stuff done underneath the hood, but my mom said, don't talk about something you don't know. I'm not a performance guy. I don't know nothing about no EGR deletes and um, pumper dumpers and all that other stuff they have. So I'm not going to talk about it. Uh, I'll leave that to the guys that build diesel trucks and do motor work. I think that's all, Junior. What do you think? Love it. I'm assuming those are aftermarket tow mirrors, but it's been so long since I saw a, an OEM tow mirror. I don't even know what one looks like anymore. So I'll leave that up to your judgment. Is that everything? Yep. Other than stuff I don't know nothing about. So like I said, six inch Skyjacker, no spacers whatsoever, 35s, 20 by 10s, very minimal trimming, just up front. Um, it doesn't look like it hits in the back at all unless if you're jumping ditches, some Fox shocks. It's sexy. It's rust free. It's an 07. It's clean. Clean like Junior's teeth. Make sure you subscribe. Better yet, share. Please share our videos. It helps us. It helps you. It helps the world be smarter because we taught you something. So share it with them. Peace.